What's up guys, Frazier here for Complex. Short of trying to investigate which Hollywood actress may have bitten Beyonce, the news everyone was eager to discuss on Monday morning was the bombshell that Virgil Abloh will be Louis Vuitton's new menswear artistic director. It's a major move for Virgil, both the culmination of all the industry moves he's been making since 2012, and the beginning of a new and exciting era for both himself and high fashion overall. It's an especially bold but also genius move for LVMH. With Kim Jones out, really, who better than Virgil to help them make a big splash and more importantly, stay connected with a more youthful consumer. It's a base they've had their eye on for a minute now. They did a collab with Supreme last year after all. So, who's helping LVMH score these cool points and make the right moves like appointing Virgil? On the low, I think a good amount of credit has to go to Alexandre Arnold. That surname should be familiar to you. Bernard Arnault is the chairman and CEO of LVMH. His second oldest son, Alexandre, is the CEO of Ramoa, the nearly century-old luggage company LVMH acquired last year. Alexandre reportedly had a big hand in that acquisition. People close to LVMH said that it was Alexandre Arnault who first spotted the potential as an acquisition target of Ramoa, which was established in 1898. They added that he was the first one to reach out to Dieter Morczyk, the grandson of the German group's founder. Alexandre was later instrumental in two of Ramoa's splashiest moments in 2017, a Beverly Hills pop-up space that included modern design flourishes like a conveyor belt baggage claim aesthetic, and an eye-catching collab with Off-White. Personal belongings, so simple and yet so genius. In an interview with Fashionista, the sentiment Alexandre kept coming back to was making the brand relatable, especially to millennials. If you look at our former retail concepts, they are very white and very old-fashioned, and we want to modernize our stores and make them more experiential. We're thinking about some cool add-ons to the store to make it more relevant to the kind of crowd to which we appeal, which is, you know, obviously millennials and more established people, but only travelers at the end of the day. The 25-year-old Alexandre's efforts to keep LVMH in step with his age group and younger has been an ongoing thing even before the Ramoa coup. Alexandre is friends with Kanye as well who of course had his own line of LV sneakers back in 2009. The two are said to have met at a Givenchy fashion show. Fast forward to 2015, and as the fashion law pointed out last year, there's strong evidence that it was Alexandre who helped orchestrate the four surprise concerts during the fall winter 2015 women's wear shows in Paris, led by Yeezy. He's also said to be a strong influence behind LVMH hiring Ian Rogers, formerly of Apple, as chief digital officer, who's bringing LVMH houses into the digital commerce realm. So, Ramoa, Kanye, Rogers, Taken together, it's not unreasonable to assume Alexandre's influence and suggestions extend even further. Like, say, the Supreme Louis collab, or even Virgil's appointment. As Virgil takes the reins to execute presumably great and forward-thinking designs at Louis Vuitton, it's also exciting to think about what he'll accomplish alongside Alexandre and what other ways the Arnold child can bring LVMH into the future. We might be looking at Chairman Bernard's future successor, but for now, Alexandre is at the very least one of LVMH's most valuable minds. Keep tabs on his name. That's all for now. For more stories like this one, subscribe to Complex News on YouTube. For Complex, I'm Frazier.